Okay, start. One, two, three, start. Kau nak cakap dulu ke aku? Kau. Aku dulu. Okay, one, two, three, go. Hey guys, so I'm Naim and this is my friend Ashraf and today we're going to show you some upper body workout. But today is just going to be me working out because my friend today is going to take an off day. So I'm just going to show you how my upper body workout is and later we're going to be recording and we're going to show you guys. So yeah, stay, stay tuned. Hello everyone, so right now we're at Wild Fitness. If you're in Tamantun, do give this gym a try because the equipment is full, fully complete. So yeah. And here I am warming up on my first exercise which is a floor press. Normally I always start with the empty bar just to get some blood in the um, joints and yeah, I highly encourage everyone to do that you know, don't go with the 10kg side or 5kg side just because the, the bar is too light it is never too light, you know what I'm saying so yeah, here's my first set just went up to 5 reps we're not trying to go 20 reps here I see so many people doing 20 reps, 50 reps on the first set I mean you can do it if you're a bodybuilder but if you're a powerlifter no, it's not a good idea it's gonna stress out your nervous system then on the last set you won't be able to go up to your maximum strength. So yeah, this is my second last set. I went for a double. So as for today, I just, I went up to single only. And here here is the set, the last set, the single. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle there, but I managed to grind it up. Good enough. Okay, my second exercise will be the pin press. So this is for people who struggle at their lockouts. I'm one of them. Because my lockout is pretty weak. So I emphasize more on um, locking out exercises. Uh, exercises that improve my lockouts. Which is the pin press. One of them. So yeah, I just did three sets with this one. And here's the last set. Went for a double before I proceed to the next exercise. <laughs> Look at that. So here's my second exercise. It's a super set with dumbbell incline and dumbbell ropes. So yeah, as you can see, I'm doing full range of motion and no spots from behind. I see so many people, you know, grabbing those two pairs of heavy dumbbells and having someone at the back supporting them while they go half range of motion and making a lot of noises. That's not a proper way of doing it. What you want to do is you want to get full stretch. Go full range of motion, you know. You don't want to run a marathon halfway, you know what I'm saying? You want to finish it. So yeah, go full range of motion and go all the way, you know what I'm saying? And this is my last exercise, which is also a superset between skull crushers and dumbbell lateral race. And as you can see, I'm doing 3 seconds down, 1 second up, and full range of motion. There's a proper tempo of doing it, and a proper way. And there's no point having someone at the back supporting you while you're doing it, regardless how heavy it is. It's always good to do proper form instead of weights, unless it is compound. And here I am doing my lateral race, just to finish things off. I did a 20 reps with the lateral race. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a question below if you want to ask me anything. Thank you.